So now in this video, we're going to boost the power supply voltage. This is just a demonstration circuit. This really would not work uh, very well. Uh, there's voltage boosters out there. There's modules. They cost about a dollar and uh, would work a whole lot better than this. But in any case, this demonstrates the basic principle. So we're going to have a couple parallel resistors. We'll zoom in and look at that a little bit uh, closer coming up. But that's because we need quite a bit of current. And so these are 100 ohm resistors. They get hot uh, fairly easily at a high current. So I got two of them so that we can pass twice the current. Each one of them getting as hot as if we were passing a total of half the current through one of them. And so current will go when we close the switch. It will go through the inductor. So inductors have the uh, basic property of they don't like rapid uh, current changes. Now it does level off uh, fairly quickly but it will slowly build up and then it will have current flowing through it steadily. So it's relatively slowly. As far as we will notice, it's uh, practically instantly. The main thing is we release the switch. That current that is flowing through the inductor still wants to flow. So if all we had was a switch, we get rid of this over here, that will make a little spark with the switch. Current will keep flowing and uh, and then after that spark, the uh, current will die down to nothing. And uh, so that can be noticeable. You can see a spark, that's inductive uh, kickback. So what we do, we have a diode coming back to the inductor, but there's a capacitor along the way. So you'll see that a lot with an inductive component. There'll be a diode that lets the current go back through the inductor until the uh, current flow dies down. Again, it's practically instantly, but it is there for a little bit of time so you may see a spark but otherwise it's a little hard to notice but here we have a uh, capacitor in series with the uh, diode right there so that the capacitor can charge while the inductor is uh, kicking back and it can capture that charge this side will be more positive that side more negative since current was flowing positive to negative that way and then when we release the switch we got positive going towards negative that way. So that will be uh, more negative, that more positive, smaller value capacitor will jump up in voltage based on the current flowing into it and it will hold that voltage with the diode. So the uh, oscilloscope that I'm going to use to take that measurement actually has not a ton of resistance, about a million ohms of resistance. So this small value capacitor is going to discharge relatively quickly. So we're going to have to do something about that. But that is the basic premise right there. So now here you can see we got uh, two resistors right there. They both go to the positive supply and then they both come to that row. That is to the top of the switch right there. You can see the push button switch, the uh, bottom of the push button switch. And by the way, uh, both of the pins at the top are always connected. Both of the pins at the bottom are always connected. So we got that side of the switch to the capacitor there and also to the inductor. One side of the inductor, so we'll put that there. Now you can see that the other side of the inductor comes to the anode, the side without the gray stripe of a diode. And then we have the cathode of the diode to the other side of the capacitor. So that's a 100 millihenry inductor. The larger the better. This is a 0.47 microfarad uh, capacitor. So 470 nanofarad. A small value capacitor. It'll jump up in voltage quickly but not hold a lot of charge. So now we got the oscilloscope ready. I have the alligator clips there. They're clipped to uh, jumpers out of the way and then I can move the jumpers as uh, I wish to holes into the slots. So we're only working with three volts right here, but still we're going to have relatively high current. So I might have used uh, higher voltage that'll get more current. But there you can see when I hold the button down, we got about 25 milliamps of current. So not terribly high, but if we increase the uh, voltage, we will see that uh, we got a lot more current right there. So almost uh, 50 milliamps. So I just set it up to 100 and uh, 3 volts all gives us a bigger range to boost the voltage. We have to stay within the voltage limits of the capacitor. It's going to go up. And so you got to be careful. You got to watch all the power and all the current, the uh, voltage limitations of these components. So there we go. We zoom in. 
and we will first look at the supply voltage we'll go to the rails of three volts so each one of these squares here is five volts so it's a little shy of five volts right there and I don't think it's quite as accurate as it could be now we're gonna go across the capacitor remember down here is gonna be more positive thanks to the kickback you can see the capacitor had some charge and now it dipped so let's zoom in so we can see this a little easier and I have to keep rapidly pressing the switch but there you can see we're well above three each one of these is five we got up to about uh, ten at uh, periods of time but this oscilloscope has I think a million ohms of resistance only so this is a small value capacitor it's going to discharge quick so I can just remove one of these and I'll do this for I don't know like three seconds or so right there and uh, now we'll measure the voltage across the capacitor so it could hold the uh, voltage it looks like pretty well until we added the oscilloscope because of the resistance but there you can see so 5 10 15 20 it was somewhere around 20 volts right there and so unfortunately we could build up a charge if we're not measuring it with uh, something this low of uh, resistance and uh, it will hold that uh, charge but as you can see it wasn't much charge even 1 million ohms there discharged it pretty rapidly so one thing we could do is use a larger value capacitor so I don't know if this is going to show up or not but uh, this is a 4.7 microfarad uh, capacitor so 10 times the capacitance let's see the uh, voltage um, I think it uh, okay it is a 50 volt capacitor so that's nice some of these are only like 25 volts so let's pluck this capacitor right there is a little crowded we'll remove this one again the uh, positive side is going to be towards the inductor so the uh, negative side the side with the dash we're going to put to the uh, switch and uh, we can come over there a, a few spots away now we'll add the diode so the more positive side the anode I should say to the inductor and then the cathode over here so that when that's more positive current can flow through there and we have that there so again this is probably going to do even worse well connected to the oscilloscope and uh, that's right I uh, have to move this red jumper over there so it's going to do even worse the capacitor is discharging now but uh, there you can see it is slowly rising right there and we are well above the three volts of the supply but not uh, terribly high so now let's uh, remove that jumper and hit it a whole bunch of times again we can't go above 50 volts but uh, I don't think we'll be near that because that's what this capacitor is rated for and uh, there you can see we got about 510 main thing is there you can see it's taken a whole lot longer to discharge right there so you could do this something like this to boost up a, a capacitor again there's voltage boosters that uh, can boost amps of current uh, and they're not that expensive so you would actually use one of those in a real life situation but this is a good demonstration circuit for inductive kickback there you can see even with uh, current going through the meter we got to about five volts right there with a three volt power supply so hopefully you still found it interesting make sure you check out one of the other videos that I'm posting click like subscribe the bell all that make sure if you can donate to patreon I put links down in the description that would help out a ton otherwise you just watching the videos also helps out a ton so thanks for that I will see you in the next video